Hey folks, one of the most satisfying things often that we find when we do test automation is learning new tools, learning how to use a new tool. That's why all these tutorials you see on the on YouTube, on the internet, where you can step by step learn how to do the basic steps of a new automation tool feels really good. It's very satisfying. But there's a there's a but. When you learn these new techniques, that's awesome. It's great to learn things. You've got to learn stuff. But the most important thing and the most challenging thing when it comes to automation is not actually the tooling. The tooling is very learnable. You can learn that. The most challenging thing that you need to understand, and if you can get this right, it will make automation a lot easier. That thing is knowing what to automate knowing what requirements and how to express them in a way that is easy to automate. And that is the biggest challenge. The actual tooling is easy compared to having the conversation and stepping back and thinking about what are the requirements you're trying to demonstrate? What are the requirements you're trying to illustrate? And what is the best way, the fastest, most efficient, safest, most reliable way that you can actually demonstrate them in executable code. That is the real challenge of automation, not knowing what JavaScript or what Python or what Java tool to use. It is understanding what requirement you are trying to automate, what requirement you're trying to specify. Because at the end of the day, that's what you're doing. You're not automating test cases. If you're automating test cases, you're way behind the game. What you should be trying to do is automate requirements. And the key to successfully automating requirements is to understand what requirements you want to automate and how to express them. So that's my tip for today. Hope you find it helpful.